moment. William is on the line first. In Arizona, you're on Free Talk Live. William. Yeah, is Derek in tonight? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Excellent. Um, Go ahead, So I had a question specifically for er uh, Derek. Um, I, so growing up, I kind of, you know, I was in a conservative environment and uh, grew up with some homophobia and whatnot. Mm. And, you know, as I grew through life, I, I put that aside and have really made a lot of progress in that area. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, really free. You know, the interesting thing is like the day after you let that go, you want to hug every gay person. you see. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Oh, that's nice. And I'm sure they'd appreciate it too. Sure. So, but recently I was going through a, I like dirt bikes and I was in on one of my dirt bike forms and I found a meme that, I thought it was very funny, but I wondered if it was pejorative or not. Ah, uh, could um, be. A lot of funny things kinda, are. Yeah, I just wanted to hash it out and just see maybe what your opinion of this would be and and what you think the larger gay community would think of it, if they would laugh with it or find it. Well, um, let me be clear. I speak for all gay people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so, so let me have it. For it. Yeah, what's the, what's the meme? Okay, so guys that ride two wheelers um, tend to beat up the, you know, beat on the guys that ride four wheelers, for example. Okay, so they say mean sure. things about them. Okay, as, you know, they they're going to be, you know, we ride two wheelers, and the people that ride four wheelers are not. They're a bunch of wimps. They got to have all four wheels. They need on the training ground. wheels. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got you. They're razzing them. Okay. Okay, so in this picture, there's a guy standing behind a four-wheeler, and the top of the meme says, the hardest part about riding a four-wheeler, and the bottom part says, telling your parents you're gay. (laughs) And I found it funny, but I also wonder if it's kind of pejorative. No, it's hard to tell your parents you're gay. (laughs) (laughs) But suggesting that all that you'd have that uh, gay people would be attracted to riding four wheelers as opposed to two wheelers, I mean, it, it's a little pejorative. I'm right? going to say that's good, clean fun. I, I would have to. He ag- laughed. I'd I mean, have to yeah. agree, but um, I would also point out that there's no way to make everybody happy on this one, right? Like there's uh, there's some gay people out there that are going to use this as an opportunity to talk about how they're put upon and all that other stuff. Yeah. Like the whiners. Are not uh, are not relegated to heterosexuality or homosexuality, right? <laughs> Certainly not. Uh, you know, there's, um, you know, and, and if this had if this had to do with feminists or libertarians or so, whatever it might be, somebody's going to cry and moan, and somebody's going to say, say <laughs> that now that's funny. Yeah, so, I like to be in the laughing crowd. Yeah, life's better there. Well, so we are- like if I if I texted this to my friends that ride four wheelers and stuff like that, I mean, I. I have mixed feelings about it. A, I think it's funny, but I I don't know. I don't know if it's appropriate or not. Oh, you're going to so. get called out. There are going to be people who are like, that's unkind to gay people. My brother's gay and you're offending me. That's going to happen. Yeah, I wouldn't joke. forward it. Personally, even if it, even if I laughed about it and I got, you know, oh, that's a funny joke. Like, you laughed about it, Derek. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't forward it on if I had any doubt. Like, you know, if I didn't fully think this was a really great meme and deserved to be shared, if I thought that it might offend, uh, uh, offend see, somebody. See, I'm of the uh, opposite opinion. I think the liberty movement is Boring. Like, we're just a bunch of namby pamby little hand ringers who are worried about who we're upsetting. You know, I, I, this is, I, I, I guess, I came of age in prison. That hardly applies to me, but. Oh, yeah. I, I, disagree. I, I think that there's, there's a, lot a lot of memes of out there. Who I'd am rather I forward the ones I really like. Oh, who am I offending? I, I don't want to see who I'm offending in this. I mean, because a joke almost always has somebody who's the butt of it. Mm-hmm. And I came of age in prison. We treated people kind of rough there you know like i had roommates guys that i were you know considered my good friends that would call me a cracker and i'd call them the n-word hmm. and that was fine and you know i mean this was the old meme from my camera was a con air or something like that they actually took a prison saying and you know in prison i learned how to i learned three things how to uh 
eat my meat with a with a spoon, how to uh, I, I can't remember what the other one was, and then how to call my best friend, my very best friend, an mf'er, right? Like hmm. I did, did it all the time, still do it. I I think that if you can't handle like to some extent, there's this rough humor, and I don't know if it's masculine. You can call it what you want. There's this rough humor out there. If you can't take the rough humor, you know, screw you. Yeah, I just don't treat my friends that way. It's just not. I you get treated that way. It's just not on a relatively regular basis. You get treated that way. Do you not? By I me. I was going to say I cleared it through Derek J, who speaks for every gay person. <laughs> That's all you need. There you go. You've all got right. the seal of you approval found now. Your justification. <laughs> hey, thanks, William. I appreciate the call tonight. The Derek J's number. big pink seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> toll free number tonight: eight fifty five four fifty free. I mean, what do you think about him forwarding that on, and if he's uncertain? Oh, okay. man, I, I like forwarding jokes. Yeah. I'd rather hear a joke and have it not be funny than not have a joke at all. Okay, fair enough. I just feel like there's so many jokes out there. You know, why not just go with the good ones? You know, some of my friends in Philly were comedians, and they try jokes all the time. And mm-hmm. we know Chris Cantwell, who's a comedian who tries jokes all the time. Sometimes they don't land right. Yeah, that is that is one of the things about being a comedian. You just make more.